Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Better just stand down and what leave does he Blake say to, to you, it. Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, Blake, doesn't he? What are you doing? He needs more and more. No. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He told you to go and find that kid in the park! Maybe the Blake knows what he's doing after all. all. Night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them, to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him! Isn't that right? No! Stop! Killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to what? the realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Concentrate on my voice, Nathan. Listen only to my voice. Back away. Slowly. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. <laughs> Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Ah, as we're free for the moment, lover. Good old in here in my pocket, just in case.
This is Bowles. Hello, little cutie. Huh? You looking for your mama? Anybody home? Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh, shit. Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up, wake up. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha.
Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Okay. How do you do this again? There you go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. I guess I better warm this thing up. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. 
I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. Excuse me? Hey! Oh! Huh! Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get... my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. Thanks. The service elevator is at the front. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief.
Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. I can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm... I'm not going to make it! If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only need. No turning back now. A lot of good it'll do Sean if I kill myself on this highway. Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? It's sheer madness. I'd kill a bunch of innocent people. What gives me the right to play God, even to save my son? I've got to do it, for Sean's sake. I have no choice.
The atmosphere here is one of concern as there is still no news of 10-year-old...